I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on algebra. Here are questions from our subscribers. Let me thank my subscribers and viewers for participating actively and posting excellent questions. Now, both these questions are related with consecutive numbers and we'll specifically talk about odd consecutive numbers. Right? So, let's look into these questions. The very first one is the sum of the reciprocals of two consecutive odd integers is 12 over 35. Find the numbers. The second one is product of three consecutive odd numbers is 693. Find the numbers, right? So let us understand what are consecutive numbers and then we'll kind of uh, provide the solution, right? So what are consecutive numbers? Consecutive numbers are numbers which come together. So consecutive numbers are numbers which come together. But when I write odd numbers, so we have to look for odd consecutive numbers. So what will be odd consecutive numbers? Well, the odd con consecutive numbers will be like 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on. So these are odd consecutive numbers, right? All are odd numbers and they come together one after the other. So that is how we understand consecutive numbers. Another term which you might like to understand is what is reciprocal. So the meaning of reciprocal is If we have a number x, then the reciprocal is 1 over x, right? So these are reciprocal numbers, right? So for example, if you're talking about these odd numbers, the reciprocal numbers will be 1 over 3, 1 over 5, 1 over 7, and so on. You get the idea, right? So these are reciprocals of the consecutive numbers, odd consecutive numbers, perfect. Now, once we understand this strategy, now look into the solution of these questions. The first one here is the sum of reciprocals of two consecutive odd integers is 12 over 35. So let me write down 12 over 35. Now 35 could be written as product of what? 7 times 5, right? So we could write this as 12 over 7 times 5 and that gives me 35. And we also understand that 7 and 5 are consecutive odd integers. So, if you have to look into this, you could think like this, that we are talking about something which is kind of 1 over 7 plus 1 over 5, right? So, that actually gives you 12, 5 times 1 and 7 times 1, right? Cross multiply. And what you get here is, if you want to work on this, 1 over 7 plus 1 over 5, common denominator is 35, and what we get here is... 5 plus 7, which is 12 over 35. And therefore, what is the answer? Well, so we get our answer here. And the answer is, the question is, the sum of the reciprocals of two consecutive integers is this. Find the numbers. We have to provide the numbers. So the numbers are 5 and 7. right? So that becomes our answer. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to do the first question. Now let us look into the solution of the second question. It is product of three consecutive odd integers. So in this, my strategy will be to find factors, right? So find factors of 6, 9, 3. How do you find factors of 6, 9, 3? Well, 6, 9, 3 6 plus 3 is 9 and that is 9. So it is divisible by 11, right? So this is 6 plus 3 is 9. So that divisibility rule, right? So if I add 6 and 3, I get 9, which is same as the center number. So alternate digits, if you add and you get the same sum, then it is divisible by 9. So that gives us a hint that we could actually divide 693 by 11. So if I do that, I get 11 times 6 as 66, and then I get what? I get 33. So 33 means 63. That means I could write 693 
as 11 times 63. And what is 63? Well, 7 times 9, right? So, 63 is 7 times 9. So, we could write this as 11 times 7 times 9. And do you notice these numbers are consecutive odd numbers? Yes, they are, right? Let's rearrange. So, when you rearrange, you could write this as 7 times 9 times 11. So, that becomes your answer. Do you see that? So, the answer for the second one is that the numbers are 7, 9 and 11. And for the first one, we found the numbers were 5 and 7. So, I hope that helps. So, in this approach, you don't really have to do a kind of algebra. You could get the answer by doing the arithmetic itself. So, we could expect this question for grade 8 and 9 students also, right? So, and this is a kind of very popular question for many competitive exams. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your suggestions, make your comments, subscribe to my videos and if you like and share my videos with your friends, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.